Hello and welcome back to Witcher 3 LP. We're exactly where we left off last time. So who is Nathaniel? Really? Nathaniel, who is he? A scoundrel, a rogue, like every man who wears the robes of the Eternal Fire. Most are scoundrels before they ever put on the robes. Huh. True in his case as well. Before he donned the frock, Nathaniel was a torturer, <sighs> delighted especially in torturing women. Later, Hierarch Hemelfart appointed him to oversee the morgue. He deals with the Temple Guard, supervises cremations, conducts funeral masses in the Temple on the Isle, and so forth. Hmm. Dream job. Might have told me you know the coroner. We could have skipped the trip through the sewers. I know him, thus I avoid him. I've said enough on the subject. I see. Well, don't aim to press you. Thank you. I have nothing to hide. It's just an old wound, unhealed as yet. What will you do now? Plenty of leads. Woodcarver's workshop, the corpse collector who found him, alley where Priscilla was attacked. Got work to do. As do I. At the hospital. I must return there. But I shall keep my fingers crossed. And I'll keep my eye on you. Which is on the case. Okay, find the corpse collector. Should be easy enough. No more. At least before they didn't use to kill women. Fall or foul of the king of beggars, and you'll get no mercy no matter who you are. Okay, leads some to be down for account. Huh. You used us, the corpse collector. I? How'd you know? Fourth sense, I think it is. Huh? You bring Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue. Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> no ice, no art. One of them, right? No purse neither, as I recall. Collected our bodies of such injuries? One of them? So there have been other bodies like that? <laughs> sure have. Beggars, street urchins, and street walkers. One was so portly, I had to cut her into pieces to fit her in me wheelbarrow. Slippery sow, they called her, on account of her. <laughs> Some things are best left unsaid. Huh? What happened to the pieces? What do you mean? Reverend Nathaniel ordered them burned. Uh -huh. Every last one. Oh, shame that was. Shame? Why? Actually, never mind. Another thing that's best left unsaid. Huh? Okay, search him. You search Fabian's body? Well, I... Uh... Cost an eye in his pockets. <laughs> Made sure nothing went to waste. I call a spade a spade. You rob corpses. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, you tax collector? Peace off, mutant. <laughs> okay. Well, he's interested in coin and we need information. Let's try that. That I have for coin? Fine, have some. Now talk. What did you find on him? Triflings, baubles, glass beaded wing, handful of coins, and a letter. Look, vellum, quality parchment, that. <laughs> I'll wipe off the right inner cell it as new. That's human skin. Priscilla, next victim's name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. What the fuck do I care what happens to some Priscilla? We short of wenches in this town. Dude. Boy, <laughs> fucking hell. What was that for? For everything. <laughs> Lay down. Think about what you said. <laughs> Okay, examine the place. What happened here? Monsters must have run in there. 
Okay, which are still in the case. And Nathaniel is one of the suspects. Because <laughs> he's burning all the corpses, so perfect way to get all the evidence destroyed. Oh, he's you know the criminal mind behind this. Uh, wait, it took a wrong turn somewhere. Knock knock, maybe. <laughs> Should have tried that. Anyone home? <clears throat> Be gone, or I'll set my hands on you. Molly, Striga, come! Relax, I'm here about Fabian Meyer, looking for his killer. That's altogether different. Set your stupid much lay down. Come on, come on in. Slowly now, lest they bite you. So you are. Uh... So who might you be? The Steph's brother. Gus is the name. We ran a workshop together. Meyer and Meyer. No, it's just Meyer. Mm. What'll it be now? Just Meyer? <laughs> Name it. I'll be closing it down now. As soon as mm. I find a buyer for this shack, I'll head on to Mahakam. Be near my family or what's left of it. So, what do you want to know? What can I tell you about Fabian? Well, did he have any enemies? Your brother have any enemies? Anyone dislike him? Threaten him, maybe? Or look at him funny. It was Fabian who threatened this one last. Mm. Oh, you were a good dwarf. Craftsman like no other. But you were an incorrigible whoremonger as well. Whenever we put a bit of coin aside, I'd say, let's buy some tools, quality timber. No, he grabbed the purse and head out whoring. Took to following one in particular. He'd say, tis all your fault, dirty bitch, human dish rag. And other obscenities. Don't rightly know what that was about. Maybe he was in love with her. Know where I can find her, this dish rag? Mm -hmm. City Cemetery. She died a few days back. Quietly in her sleep, a pawn said a fever took her. And what do you know about the murder? Tell me what you know about the murder, in order, in detail. It was like this. Had some work in Oxenfurt, and I was coming home. I saw a plume of smoke rising over the city. I thought to myself, blast it, gonna miss him burn another hag. But the smoke wasn't coming from Hyrax Square. It was coming from here. See the soot stains? Uh. That's where they burned our sculptures. Folk gathered round the blaze and found Fabian here beside it. They'd already loaded him on the cart by the time I arrived. Talk to your neighbors. They see anything suspicious beforehand? Hear anything? Claim not to. But even if they had, they'd not have helped. The Novigrad folk give bleak orphans in the street a white berth so as not to stain their poor lanes. Uh. They kill them some dwarf. Okay. Fine. We've talked enough. Need to look around. Be my guest. Just beware of the dogs. Let's see what we can find here. Blood stains. That's where Fabian lay when they found him. Statues of the old gods. Nothing but women. Shapely ones. Huh. Okay. What else? Something we should look into. Now remember, good people, that fire can be both blessing and a curse. Okay, blah blah blah. That is why we must live in harmony of eternal fire and its commandments. Whoever fails to heed these lessons, whoever lives in ignorance of it, the same shall lose his life in its flames. Take my counsel to heart, good people, you will reap the consequences of your deeds. Hmm. Nothing else here. Hmm. Someone dragged something across the floor. More dragged it from one wall to the other repeatedly. Okay. What else is in here? Hmm. I don't really see anything. 
Statues of the old gods. Oh, yeah. Nothing but women. Shapely ones. Found that one. What else? Should we talk to the guy? Hmm. Hi. The sculptures. Had a look at your sculptures. What? Life like, aren't they? Mm -hmm. The women especially. Never seen a bust that size on Melitale. <laughs> oh aye. Fabian's handiwork. I told him, brother, tits like that would crush her back. Went them down. He said nay, they'd sell better this way. Told me to shut me trap. And sell they did. Till one sermon at the temple. And the celebrating reverend said that whoso buys idols from the non-human Myers sins twofold as a heretic and as a lecher. That was the end of that. Okay. How about you open the workshop for me? Mind if I go inside the workshop? I've not even peeked inside since... since they found Fabian. But I'll open it for you if you want. That would be most helpful. Eyes, humanoid, completely rotten. Damn. He was uh, attacked in his own workshop. Mm. Fight. Furniture got knocked over. This looks like it was kicked. Possibly. Where he hit his toe, toes and nails. By kicking the chair. Possibly. Formaldehyde. Doubt Fabian used it. Uh -huh. hmm. Nothing interesting here. Yes, that's about it. I already know what happened. Fabian was in the workshop. Murderer attacked him there. They struggled. Fabian was overpowered, then tortured for a time. I needn't know the details. Truth be told, I haven't the stomach for him. When it was over, the murderer dragged Fabian to the courtyard. Then made a pyre of sculptures, set them aflame. But why? Why do all that? To teach a lesson. To him, you, the whole city. Yeah. Fine, we've talked enough. Won't learn anything else here. Take care. Yeah, only one place left to look into the alley. Of the latest uh, attack. Makes sense. Let's move out. Oi, Witcher! Coroner wants to see you. Been another victim. Are you serious? Tell me to say the main door will be open for you. You're to come as soon as you can. Hmm. Ah. That corner can wait. Let's investigate first. I think, right. Very handsome. Wait a second. Another sermon. Okay, we see a pattern. Mm hmm. It's 
suppose every unworthy and debauched soul, not even shape-shifting dopplers can hide from its light, not even witches are in sorceresses. Uh, not a loose man, woman, who walk the street and fog men's minds with her charms, abandon them, the treacherous and immortal magic arcane. Cover your bodies in modesty and provoke no unclean thoughts, and internal fire will look Expose for you all monsters and sinners, or else burn you too in flames. Grab him! Sis. That aid. How am I to know? Watch him, see what he does. A brazier. This time of year. What the heck? Oh, he was serial, guys. Aye. Calm down. Calm down. Come on, come closer. Mm. Ow. Come on. Two one is uh, a little hard to deal with. Okay. Hm. How did I get myself into this? Alrighty. Come on. Two left now. Come on. Damn it. How did I get myself into these kind of situations? Hmm. Okay. Bam. Eh. Got some for you too. Enough. Think you'll get me too, huh? Up your ass, deviant. Holes can fight back. What? Uh. Calm down. I'm not <laughs> gonna hurt you. What are you doing here? Getting vengeance. Well, why are you staring? Have you not heard killers always return to the scene of their crime? Me and my brothers are waiting here to give him a warm welcome for Priscilla. Almost did her in the whole sun. I know. Here to look for clues and find anyone who might know something. Fear I can't help you much. But I can tell you what I know. Hmm. Yeah, she wasn't the sole victim. Priscilla wasn't the sole victim. You aware of that? Oh, dearie. Of course I was. This didn't start yesterday. Others have died like this before. Beggars, street girls, orphans. But who'd have a drama concern about them? Human rubbish. It's what the guards call us. Recall any names? They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, buns. That's what folk called them. No friends, no families. Their bodies were burned long ago. Uh -huh. You and Priscilla friends? Friends? Nah. But she saw more than a stupid hoe in me. Treated me with respect. It mattered. I was looking to give up whoring. Pick up a decent trade. 
but none would take me. Not as a washerwoman, nor a servant, nor a cook. Felt like a leper, I did. But Priscilla, she was different. Agreed to put me in her play, you see. Lots of the other actors, they were afraid on account of her jesting about the eternal fire. Whistling Wendy on stage, can you imagine it? Well, dream's gone now. I'm back to work in street corners. Sorry to hear that. You could do worse as work goes. Or so I tell myself. You're right. Take care now. I gotta look around some more. Appreciate it if you didn't disturb me. Naturally. <laughs> we'll stand aside, behave. But do tell us if you find anything else here. I'll try. For a good reason, guys. You asked for it and you got some. <laughs> Aye. <laughs> Can we find here? We have a scent was here as well. And that man's footprint. The murderer's maybe. Wait on his heel. Took a step back. Okay. Murderer fled before the guards arrived. Ran this way, human. Priscilla's. Okay. Trail ends here. Strange. Even I couldn't jump this wall. Oh yeah. What about the smell? I know that smell. Formaldehyde. Hmm. Yeah, I guess all we have left is talk to a coroner. At this point. Well, I kind of found interesting things. So, what is it? Think I know what happened here. Priscilla fought back, her assailant retreated, and knocked over the brazier. Someone must have heard it. Maybe saw something, started hollering. Guards showed up. Murderer didn't finish the job, didn't cover his tracks. Just collected himself and leapt over the wall. Trail ends there. You divined all this from a pile of rubbish and a few prints in the mud. Do that practically every day in my profession. And practice makes perfect. True enough. Just like I can tell right off if a punt will pay or try to wriggle out of it. <laughs> that particular skill I could use myself. <laughs> yeah. Take care now. Alrighty. And I got a murderer to catch. Witcher is still on the case. See the coroner now. Somebody who's not entirely normal. <laughs> I can jump walls. That still could be our you know, that Tannil guy. Maybe he's not entirely human either. <laughs> As uh, you know, ever guy remarked the Nathaniel didn't change for 30 years at all. <laughs> so, good detail to spot. Oh, no. <clears throat> Welcome, Master Witcher. Yeah, yeah. Good to be back. Don't worry about that. Don't mind, you know, don't mind me. I'll just look around. Oh, quickie like. Okay, got something else here. <laughs> no spirits, never bad. Okay. I'm ready to. I guess. And just be safe. Geralt, right? I'm glad you're here. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Nice of you, especially given no, you didn't seem pleased Huber, about my previous visit. Daniel. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. 
Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. And I know who you are, what drives you. I'm more than happy to aid your investigation. Okay. Who's the victim? Who's the victim this time? Joris Aquinas, a lecturer in theology at Oxenfurt Academy. Found this morning at his home on a catafalque made of his books. Any titles in particular? It seems all the tomes dealt with the eternal fire. Treaties critical of the faith's doctrines. Yeah, mortal sin in Novigrad. Hmm. Not fond of Nathaniel? Very few people are. He's cruel and capricious. He stormed in here once, grabbed a scalpel I was sterilizing over a burner, sliced my back with it to the bone because I had forgotten to lock the storeroom. Hard to be fond of someone like that, wouldn't you agree? Yes, quite. By the way, you and Von Gratz don't exactly get along. Why is that? I had him sent to prison. You see, Joachim led the student protests in 1242. A senseless and brutal revolt. People were dying, Witcher. Those who rejected liberty, equality, and fraternity would be found in the gutter come morning. Their throats slit from ear to ear with surgical precision. Joachim had been my favorite student, but... Alas, I had to do something. So I reported him. Then I left the university and found work in the morgue, where none care about my past. Whereas Joachim... Oh, fate's ironies. Years later, he was appointed head of the very ward I had founded. Uh-huh. How old's Von Gratz? Fifty? Sixty? Fifty-three, I believe. Why do you ask? You look a little young to have been his teacher. Not surprising. For years, I've lived in the cold and dark, breathing the vapors of embalming fluids. In short, working with corpses extends one's life. Amusing, is it not? Weird. <laughs> Let's start. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the rib cage and... What's this? A parchment made of human skin. A message from the murderer. The name of his next victim. Patricia Vagelbud. Do you know her? Yes. Even went to her estate once with... Gotta find her. Now. Great. Well, at least we got the lead. That's pretty good. Alrighty. Till next time, Master. Yeah, but of that, I think in the next episode, because this one has been taking quite a while now. So I hope you enjoyed this one, and uh, hope to see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.